Sagittarius. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 13th to the 19th of March 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Alright, so Sagittarius. Straight into this. So 13th to the 19th of March 2023. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Sagittarius. Ooh, look at the core of your reading. Brilliant. Huh, and then overall, <laughs> Five of Wands. Drama conflict, disagreements, feeling like you're stuck in a rut because there seems to be something or someone trying to prevent you from following your dreams, following your goals, every which way you turn, it's like a brick wall. I'll clarify everything shortly. Go with the flow of, um, with the core of your reading here. Past energies, you had the two of pentacles, nine of pentacles, three of swords. Somebody has broken your heart in the past due to a third party situation, whether it's been around love, around work, around home. Um, somebody interfered. Somebody was meddling. It felt like you were being pulled in different directions. It feel like it was almost an ultimatum here. Um, so, you know, around work, it's like, oh, if you decide to go with that job there, don't expect to come back here if it doesn't work out. Kind of that kind of energy back there in the past. But in doing around that, and doing so around that, that Nine of Pentacles, you could see success coming your way. You're starting to get the balance and alignment back into place. And you're dealing with that heartbreak there before it got too out of control. And into your present energies, because it starts with the Tower here. So the Tower, Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Pentacles. A lot of hard work, a lot of focus, a lot of dedication here to release all of this energy that's been holding you back. Release possibly all this drama that's going on around you. Let the dust settle and focus on building something solid from the ground up. Because the core of your reading, bigger and better things, good luck, good fortune, things are happening in favour, in your favour here, um, and it's gaining momentum here. Hopefully that's for all of you. So um, future energies, the full Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles, and it is all happening, maybe quite suddenly, like a bolt out of the blue, abundance, getting control of finances, things that are falling into place, there's emotional happiness, stability, you're very content with where things are sitting here. And then you also have the full, where I feel like now you're ready to shift the goalpost and take a chance, take a risk, and see what else life brings you, what it can bring you right here. Bigger and better things, that abundance, as I said, overnight success. But I feel like this drama's gone. It's done. It's finished with. It's released out here with the universe, and you're now ready to take a leap of faith here and see where um, the next journey, the next chapter actually takes you. Love it. Okay, so Sagittarius, starting overall, Five of Wands. What's that doing here? Seven of Cups, Princess of Swords, the Fool. I love it when the Seven of Cups and the Fool comes out together because it's almost like you're looking at something completely different that you've never looked at before. And this is a first, first moment situation of looking at a different option that you may not have previously known was there. And, um, and you're ready to jump in and see where it takes you. It is still saying to slow down, not rush into things, even though the fall is there. It is also saying to still look at your other options. See what else there is there. But um, ultimately, I feel like there's something in these one of these options that's presenting um, a way to release yourself from all the drama, all the conflict that's happening here when you're trying to get this Wheel of Fortune going in the, in the forward direction there. But we'll carry on. Past energy, Sagittarius, Two of Pentacles. 
what flipped out right there the world love that so you get the world three of pentacles seven of pentacles may have connection to an earth sign in the past taurus virgo or capricorn there's a lot of pentacles there's a lot of hard work being taken here to build something solid from the ground up make things very um solid stable that foundation is there it's um almost unmovable is that a word unmovable yep <laughs> but ultimately now is the moment to work together to build that solid foundation yes you have to put the hard work in as you sort one thing out five more things pop out of place but you're going into the nine of pentacles next with this hard work is paying off and you can see the success coming your way feel like in the past that was your moment love that so nine of pentacles eight of cups king of swords seven of swords feel like there has been some jealousy in the past possibly around this interference around this heartbreak around this meddling but some gossip some backstabbing some drama that we've had overall here but i feel like that king of swords you're very logical very level-headed and i'm going to say not putting up with that crap you're dealing with the situation before it got out of control here if it meant some sort of emotional detachment i feel like that's what happened in order for that success to be coming your way easier said than done to do but at the same time i feel like you are very solid here and you knew that this third party energy this interference this drama this conflict all it was doing was holding you back from what can be what can be in the core of your reading with that wheel of fortune but we'll contra um contact <laughs> what's the word clarify oh I don't know what was our mind mind freeze there brain freeze is that what they call it um we'll clarify three of swords here first <laughs> the emperor five of cups two of wands you're only the third reading i've done <laughs> but you're in you're in control of the situation <laughs> i might not be but <laughs> the emperor is there you are <laughs> but you have this focus of where you're heading very confident very logical very level-headed a whole different approach possibly towards going after your dreams and your goals here but this heartbreak has brought its own amount of sadness loss grief that you've had to go through emotionally to detach here hasn't been an easy journey it's not as easy as flicking the light switch on and off always say don't let others tell you to hurry up and get over it but i feel in the past you were getting control of the situation and before it got too out of hand but it came at a price around that sadness um, that you have had to go through and around some sort of detachment that you've had to go through but this detachment comes straight into the tower here talking about being able to release everything here that's weighing you down so present energy is the tower the hierophant yeah six of pentacles the hermit following your own heart following your own beliefs but mainly speaking up letting your voice be heard not doing all the giving someone else is doing all the taking you're making sure this foundation is balanced it's sturdy it's stable it's solid and again this peer pressure this interference this meddling somebody's trying to hold you back here but you're not taking it now you're do, taking some time for yourself to do some soul searching to do some contemplation where to now and there is that light at the end of the tunnel and this comes after the dust settles and you're able to focus on that solid foundation from the ground up just say may have connection to taurus or virgo here but you are making sure this foundation is solid as and very balanced love that brilliant and then bring this on your wheel of fortune in the core of your reading things start to progress and take off nine of swords knight of pentacles ten of wands there has been stress there's been sleepless nights there's been overthinking of things but there's also been this burden of feeling like you're having to do everything yourself and i am guilty of being one of those people that say oh, i'll just do it myself i'm gonna do it i'll do it 
<laughs> it's like so I do that and a lot of people do but it's taken a long time to release this burden because possibly there's somebody by your side here that is balancing the situation out allowing this wheel of fortune to get there in half the time problem shared problem halved it's taken its own sweet time it's come with a lot of sleepless nights but that burden does start to lift as this wheel of fortune does start to gain momentum right here so sagittarius eight of pentacles wheel of fortune love that for a flow on effect right there queen of wands six of cups and this comes with confidence determination to go after your dreams your goals you know what you want who you want where you want to be um, and you know that it does take a lot of hard work to get this wheel of fortune happening now i'm saying there may be a reconciliation of some sort here it may be around love it may be around work it may be around home i'm saying um second time round may be better with this wheel of fortune here as well but this could be a job that you're going back to it could be a hometown that you're moving back to it may be a love that you're going back to but around the six of cups and this wheel of fortune it's almost like there was a missed opportunity the first time around but this time around especially that wheel of fortune twice in your present energies line this time around is is looking to be better wow Future energies line, Sagittarius, the fall. King of Wands, Queen of Swords, Three of Swords. Mm. You know how I just said second time around may be better? This Three of Swords, it may come back, right back to here. This heartbreak. This third party energy, this interference, this meddling. Present energies was looking brilliant. <coughs> Feels like I'm losing my voice now. Um, you know what you want, who you want, and where you want to be. And I feel like you are taking a chance around this, whether it's around love, around work, around home. You're taking a leap of faith here. It's a whole different approach towards something or someone than what you would usually take. But I feel like this is still coming off the Six of Cups. I do feel like it's a, a reconciliation to some point. But there is coming back to this energy as well around this heartbreak. But in saying that as well, this might be a whole different direction with this Queen of Swords. That you speak up here and stop it before it gets out of hand. You've taken this leap of faith. This is your decision. This is your choice. If someone else is trying to interfere, this may be this whole different um, Queen of Swords energy of wait, stop, wait, look, hold up, <laughs> you know, and um, and to putting a stop to that interference because you again with that King of Wands, you do know what you want, who you want, and where you want to be, and you're coming into this Ten of Cups. There is emotional happiness here and contentment. And it's maybe because you're dealing with this straight away. Two of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Five of Wands. And there is something or someone that does need to be released here. There's love here, existing relationship, somebody brand new. But because of the drama, the turmoil, the Five of Wands you have over here and you've got it here. It's something that you feel like you're not able to release just yet. So there may be a legal contract of some sort you're not able to break free from. There may be um, children involved. If there's been a separation, you're always going to have that tie. But you're wanting to move forward with love here. And there may be a bit of jealousy and a bit of drama and a bit of conflict around that. This is that kind of interference and meddling that we're talking about. But in doing so, you're speaking up and just nipping it in the bud before it does get to... Um, get too out of hand with that five of wands as well but you do have sudden success to finish with this king of pentacles death six of swords knight of cups and there you go may have connection to scorpio here but you are closing the chapter off here so um to a point that this past is done the interference the drama the conflict the meddling is done 
your focus now on this love here existing relationship somebody brand new whether it's a reconciliation you are putting plans into place to get things moving forward and to leave the past in the past so even as i said second time around this may be like the past is past this is a new chapter this is a new journey you're clarifying king of pentacles sudden success out of this new chapter wow Sagittarius, let's see what the universe says. So I threw them all on the table there. How unusual. I'm not the best shuffler if you are new here. Seven of Swords, the Chariot, Ace of Cups from the universe. Walking away from some sort of deceptive energy. This third party energy possibly throughout, but you're walking away with your head held high. There is a new chapter here when it comes to love, existing, somebody brand new, someone you've even got your eye on. Could be a pregnancy, a birth, marriage proposal, moving in together, even meeting somebody new. And of course, I always say it could be a job you love, a home you love. But balancing this chariot out may have connection to a cancer here and things are on the move. Especially the core of your reading, that wheel of fortune, getting that on the move and um, pretty much bring it on. So let's finish with Star Temple Oracle, Sagittarius. Number 33, the Sacred Orchard, co-create. My abundance mindset attracts endless blessings. Well, take that with your Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius. Brilliant. Love it. Star words, positivity, attitude, prosperity. Be assured that a steady flow of abundance is available to you now. Asteropia reminds you that your thoughts are seeds that create either fruits or weeds in your sacred orchard. It is important to keep your mindset positive so you can attract infinite prosperity. Be mindful of your unconscious negative mantras that create a mindset of lack and victimhood. Your self-worth determines your wealth, so live in alignment with your divinity. When you set out to intentionally attract your desires, you will flourish with endless opportunities. Know that you are worthy of plentiful joy. And let that wheel of fortune bring that on, those fruits. <laughs> so love it. Sagittarius, that's what I have. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.